Hello everybody. Today we're having a look at the Colt Thin Man. Another knife sent to me by Funky Prepper. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that funky, much appreciated. But why am I starting a review of what is clearly a modern stiletto with the salad test? Well, many of you will know that I don't subscribe to this idea that you have to have the latest, most high-tech, most sophisticated steel for ordinary everyday tasks and ordinary everyday pocket knives. There are jobs where it's necessary, and it is nice. But the idea that everything that's gone before suddenly becomes rubbish, I just don't subscribe to. And similarly, I also don't hold with the idea largely created by manufacturers' marketing departments that you always have to have exactly the right knife for the job. It's it's just nonsense, isn't it, really? Obviously, there are many jobs where they can only be completed safely and efficiently with a specific knife design. But generally, there's a lot of jobs where as long as the knife is roughly the right size, the design specifics don't really make much difference. So I thought I'd do a little salad test with the stiletto which historically is all about stabbing people. It's just as good as a picnic knife. You can slice your veggies, you could slice your salami with it, you could open your bread rolls. You probably want a slightly wider blade for spreading your pate on your crackers. But if you don't mind carrying a longish pocket knife it's got a lot of other uses, apart from the original intention behind the design. So, let's have a look. Okay, so this is how the knife comes in a blue cardboard box with the logo on. We open the box and straight away you can see this is a big knife big in terms of length, it is slim as the name suggests. Closed it's 5 inches, 125 millimetres. The blade is 3 and 7 eighths from the handle to the tip, which is 108 millimetres. Although the cutting edge is 3 and 3 quarters, or 95 millimetres. And it's made out of 2 millimetre thick 440A. We've got the Colt logo there and then CT579 China on the blade there which is the model number and the country of manufacture. So just to set it in context for the size there's the Victorinox Spartan copy a usual size comparison. As you can see with the Colt, we're much more in the territory of an open L number 10. A big open L. As I said in the introduction, it's clearly the design is a modern stiletto. Um, we have got a liner lock and this particular one sits at around 50%. We've got jimping on the line lock there, which is very good actually. It's quite a strong spring. The blade isn't 100% centered, but it doesn't rub the sides, so there's no issue there. The sides are steel liner with a brushed aluminium scale on the outside. We've got a thumb disc for opening, but to be honest, I struggle. There isn't much of a gap there to get in behind it. I have opened it with a thumb disc in the past, but I find it not at all easy. 
the lock up from the line lock is completely solid it's very good I must say though that for all the line the lock is a strong spring when you're trying to release it it does feel a bit bendy probably just because of the length of it but then for all this is a big heavy knife I don't think you're going to be doing a lot of particularly heavy work with it and exactly how heavy is heavy let's see if we can get the numbers to show on camera five ounces on the button so that's going to be if I can get this switched over to foreign five ounces or 141.6 grams so yeah it's quite heavy with all metal construction big long pocket clip not the strongest again probably because of the length but I think if you do pocket carry this the fact that it's very long and heavy it will sit itself quite well in your pocket removable two torque screws um, but no other position so it's um, tip down right hand carry what's the edge like well that was the factory edge that you saw in the salad test if we get a piece of heavy ish catalogue paper you can see that it's quite a smooth cut no worries there although if we, if we try it with foam book paper there's only a short section at the middle of the edge that can cope with the phone book paper so that does need a strop but the grind is quite nice as I say it's hollow ground blade we've got a small swedge along most of the top edge but the bevel does look very even so I don't think that will need much um, dropping at all to be honest open pillar construction blade stop there a couple of um, standoffs to the back no lanyard hole quite a simple design and I think in terms of updating the traditional stiletto pattern to a modern design it does work quite well costs in the UK about £11 so it's not an expensive knife but for your £11 I think you do get quite a good product if you like this kind of blade it's well made I can't see definitely what the washers are uh, that the blade rides on but I suspect the nylon so it's very smooth and I think with a bit of practice you could master that thumb disc so it's well made it's elegant if you like stilettos it's certainly got a lot more uses for it than simply the historical use of a stiletto I like it. So that is the Colt Thin Man, a gift from Funky Pepper. So I will thank you all for watching. I'll show you some close-ups. We'll see you next time.